What's up, it's Sean Mendez, and this is my most requested live Ask Me Anything chat. Thank you so much to Romeo and iHeart for letting me do this. So the first question is from Safa from the UK. She's, she says, hey Sean, I was reading the interview that you did with the Rolling Stone. I loved your honest opinion, and I thought you were honest with the interview. Um, I was wondering what do you, I was wondering, what do you when you need to find peace? What do you do when you need to find peace? Love you so much. Safa, I love you too. Um, when I need to find peace, that is a very big question, Safa. I would say I find peace in other people. Um, when I find that, I'm, I'm very, really inside of my own head that the last thing I need to do is kind of think about myself and I like to go and listen to other people talk about their lives and, and kind of get involved in their life and, and I, I think that helps me um, kind of relax a little bit, yeah. Bella from New Orleans says, is, is saying Khalid or Khaled the new potato or potato? I don't know what, I only call him Khalid. Khaled. People call him Khaled maybe? Yeah, I guess people call him Khaled. It is Khalid, I think. I'll ask him. Jen from France says, at what point in your career did you realize that girls actually had pictures of and posters of you in their bedrooms? I actually think I just realized that right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> I never really thought about that. Um, yeah. That's a little weird, but also cool with me. Giovanna asked me, do you have a skincare routine? If so, please share with us. My skincare routine is trying to not be stressed because I think that, honestly, it doesn't, you could rub your face in dirt, but if you're happy, then you'll probably have clear skin. So if you're breaking out, you probably need to go on a big walk and, or a hike on a mountain or something. Penny from Winnipeg says, what's the greatest sample that you would use in one of your songs? If I could use a sample from any song, I would probably use a sample from Thriller or Beat It, one of those two songs, but um, of course you can't just do that. Ashley asks, when do you eat a taco? Do you tilt your head to the left to eat it or to the right? When I eat a taco, if this is a taco, I don't know, do I tilt my head at all? I think I tilt it to the right. Paraskeva says, what was your best drop the mic moment ever? Probably while I was doing the show, drop the mic was probably my best drop the mic moment, but I'll never rap again, so please don't ask me to. Uh, Ilguina says, since we've been asking you loads of questions, is there any questions that you would like to ask us? Yeah, actually, I would love to know what style of music you love to hear me sing, because I think that I've sang rock to urban, to, not fully, but like R&B type feel, to pop, to singer-songwriter, and I just want to know what you guys enjoy the most, if there's an answer to that. And if there's no answer, that's okay too. Um, but yeah, what would you like to hear me do more in the future? Denise from Ottawa says, when was the last time you flew commercial and what's the nicest private jet you've ever flown on? Um, I fly commercial always. Um, when I'm very lucky and because there's no other way and it has to be that way because that's the only way I can get to a place in time, I fly private jets, but um, I can count how many private jets I've been on both hands, so yeah. Brittany from Thunder Bay says, Sean, what are you doing at Christmas time and will you come back to the homeland? Um, I promise I'll be back in the homeland I don't know, I'm gonna just go and hang with my sister and my mom and dad and maybe go and try to learn how to ski properly with my friends, but uh, I'm sure that will turn out very bad. But I'll, I'll send you pictures and videos. Uh, Brittany from Thunder Bay. Sonia from Mexico says, what emoji do you use the most? What emoji do I use the most? Let me check. Um, the most recent emoji in my phone right now is the heart, just the regular red heart. Guess that's it. Jenny from Chicago says, if you, were America's, if you were on America's Got Talent, what would your hidden talent be? Um, I recently learned how to juggle. I can juggle now, and I can do this thing called gleeking, which is really gross, and I wouldn't do it on camera. <laughs> Andrea from Phoenix says, finish the sentence, all I want for Christmas is to just go home and chill with my sister. Anonymous fangirl asks, I really want to know what you think of your fangirls that are over their 30s. Does this mean that you are over the age of 30? Um, it's not weird, is it? So my question is, can you tell everyone uh, that they need to grow up? Thanks. So imagine that you're a fan who's over the age of 30, and I'd like to say that it doesn't matter how old you are. If you like music, you like music, and you could be 60 or 90 or 110 or three years old, and if you like the songs, then I appreciate it. Lena from Dallas says, if you spoke to my high school music class, what wisdom would you throw on us? I would say that, to your high school music class, I would say that music isn't all about the amount of chords and notes you know how to play, but it's more about the feeling that you can put into the song. You have to really believe what you are doing for it to be great. Selena from Vancouver says, if you randomly emptied out your pockets, what do you usually find? Right now they're empty, but I would find my phone, my wallet, chapstick, and headphones. 
all the time. Gina from Louisville says, Gina from Louisville says, what's your go-to pose when you do meet and greet pictures? It's like the normal pose. Sometimes I hold the hand. <laughs> Rhonda from Indianapolis says, if you did a Christmas record, what is your most favorite song and what would you record? I, I think I would want to do a cover of That's Amore, even though I know that's not a Christmas song. I want to make that a Christmas song, if that's possible. Nicole from Chicago says, if you received a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame, who would you want to be stars on either side of your star? I would love to have Seth Rogen on the side of my star and Mayer, John Mayer on the other side of my star. Thank you guys so much again for watching my most requested live chat and thank you to Romeo and everybody at iHeartRadio for making this happen. I love you guys, take care.